You you want my national insurance number? Well, I just advise you I have questions to ask as part of my job. If you don't want to answer them, you can just say declined. And one of those questions is your national insurance number, yes. That's not a question. That's a demand for a, a very, very sensitive uh, bit of information. It's not a demand at all, sir. Uh -huh. I just said you can refuse it. So it's not a demand. But I don't think you should be asking anyone at all about their national insurance number. That's completely, that's completely your opinion. Do you want to give it or not? Uh, um, no, I don't want to give you my national That's insurance. Fine. What's what's uh, your name? You to take can, your, my name is Joe, and are you happy to, what, 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 you happy to what, take your employment status, what, sir? What's your name? My name is Joe. Joe who? Well, I don't need to give you my surname, sir. Really? You're asking my national insurance number, and you can't give me your your full name? No, I won't be giving you my full name, sir. No. Oh. You take my extension number, by all means. Your what number? My extension number. What's your extension number? Yes, 2101. Okay. And do you have a staff number? That is my extension number, sir. 2101. Oh. That's your staff number as well? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm calling about this. Uh, I had a text message that you, some one of your agents visited my home or something. Okay, so I've still got a question to ask you. And like mm -hmm. I say, if you mm -hmm. wish to decline it, not a problem. Are you happy to share your current employment status? I don't want to give information uh, away, no. Nope. So private so and confidential. Declined. No problem. So the balance is outstanding at £3,887.46 to St Helens Council, mm -hmm. regards to outstanding council tax for 102 Lower Hall Street. Are you calling to clear those balances today, sir? I would love to settle the matter, yeah. So you're calling to clear the balances in full today, do, sir? Do you take credit cards? We will take credit cards, yes. Okay, so um, you said an agent visited my premises, according well, to the... the reason why I'm asking the very specific question that I'm asking, because I do need to know the answer before I can discuss anything with you. So are you calling to clear the balance in full today or not, Mr. Badley? I'm calling to clear the balance subject to that, you know, it's not, it sounds no, it's, like a it's high not figure. Me that you need, it's, it's not me that you need to speak to then, so hold the line, please. Sure, sure. Oh, yes, sir. I was just asking the young lady. Her name is Jo. I was just phoning up about this. I, I had a I had a text message through on my phone saying uh, an enforcement agent uh, visited my premises on the 11th. Is that correct? Oh, right. Quite possibly. What, what area do you live in? <laughs> I don't want to don't tell you where I live, mate. You, you're sending agents around. You want to ask me where I live. <laughs> What, what's your name again? What's your name? My name's, my name's Francis Arlay. Have you, did you, did you, have you got a letter? Is there a, a name at the bottom of the letter? I didn't get a letter. I just got a text message. What's your name again, Francis? Oh, uh, uh, Francis Arlay. A? A-R. Uh-huh. A-R-L-A-I-N. A. Oh, Arlene. Mm-hmm. So what are you so an you're an enforce you're an enforcement agent, are you? Yes, yes, I'm a force so if you're talking to someone in the office yeah. they've passed you over to me. Have you have you have you got um, an arrangement set up? 
no 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 I, I, I've just got this message uh, um, on my phone <clears throat> saying somebody's been but I'm, I'm not aware of it uh, right. would that be would that have been you uh, mr. Allen Yeah, um, and I'm surprised it didn't have the name of the person who visit because it's enforcement agent visit. They have to give you their details, isn't it? Is that correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, a lot of the time, sometimes when we, when we visit people, sometimes, not most of the time, sometimes they have to give us their details or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, 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 I understand, but, um, yeah, so, so um so it might have been you who visited yeah but they, they you wouldn't send me a text message you wouldn't send me a text message saying you visited if you didn't visit would you I want, I want to resolve it. I don't want people visiting my my door with threats. No, no, of course not. No, 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 hmm. no, 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 no
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me give you a quick ring back, Mr. Mr. Arlene, yeah? All right, my name is Anthony. Okay. Oh, that is so much better. That's, that's better. My God. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah. You, are you, do you not know of any debts that you've got? Because if you want, I can take the details off you and go back to the office and try and find out for you what, what it's all about. Because you say it's something to do with Liverpool or something. <coughs> well, I, I mean, I don't. Um, I don't have, I, I, I don't recall having any such debt. But if 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 you came round with a warrant, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming so because I because I, I haven't got your details. I don't actually recall the, the particular. But I'll go to I'll go to the London Meat Warrant today. You know what I mean? Yeah. So on the 11th of um, December, I'll, I'll remember the individual one. Yeah. Uh, what I'll, I'll tell you what I'll, I could do for you if you give me your name and number. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 give me your name and number. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll go back to the office and I'll try and find out some more information for you and then come back to you. Because, but you, um, you know when you visit these people on the 11th, yeah? yeah uh, I don't know. I, I don't actually remember or, or even know who I went to on the 11th. No, but who, like whoever you went to, it, it, for you to visit someone, you must have a warrant, no? Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. The, the, the office will, the, the office will definitely have some information, and more than likely, yeah, he, he'll come around again another cycle where there'll be another visit. I'm not saying there'll be more people on, but they'll they'll, they'll do another visit. But the, but when when we do a visit, yeah, um, there's nothing you need to worry about. It's only someone coming and knocking on your door going to talk to you. No one's going to try and. There's nothing going to be done. It's just a it's just a chat. You know what I mean? They clamped my car once. That, that's long ago. That's long ago, not now. But oh, we just said they just come around for a chat. They're not just coming for a chat. They co they're coming around yes. with with uh, so, just, some I'm, violent intent. Yeah, that, that, some, some of them are like that. To be, to be honest with you, I, I, me personally, yeah. I prefer to speak to a person first. I don't just go around just going to give them some and before I've spoken to them. You know what I mean? But, well, yeah, well I'll, tell you a little, I'll tell you a little joke. The, the last agent from your company called... Uh, Christopher Paul Fantis, yeah, P H A N T I S. He came round and he never had a warrant. And I put a complaint on him in the Hartford County Court, and they 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 struck him off. No, you're joking. Hundred percent. I mean, people people terrorizing children and stuff and lying that they have a warrant it's a very serious crime yeah oh yeah 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 it's not it's not the way i go about my, my business let's put it that way i would i would do something like that but you can't have a warrant you know you know mr mr arlene you can't possibly have a warrant because i tell you why yeah yes go on. this council tax thing it says it's for a certain address in liverpool yeah I've never, I've, I've never lived there. Right. So right. it can't be, it can't be correct, yeah. Well, maybe not, maybe not, but someone somewhere believes, believes it is. Well, we're not running on belief, are we? <laughs> you either you have a warrant or you don't. You can't run on belief. No, no. But the thing is, is if if someone, what I'm trying to say to you is, if if someone sent something to our company, Rundles, and said go and collect. Person, yeah, you've got, you got magistrates. Um, they're, they're, I don't think that they actually issue you with warrants in that sense. I think it's more a thing of just it's just underwritten by a, a warrant. You, you're, you're obviously your name has come up somewhere, it could be it could be fraud, it could be lots of things. There's lots of reasons why yeah. sometimes it ain't the person's fault. I'm not saying it's the person's fault, but yeah, someone somewhere believes that you owe whatever it is that you owe to the council in Liverpool. I don't know if it's 
terms of a drive-in? Is it parking fines or council tax? Or business rates? I think they're saying council tax, but it can't be because I don't, I've never lived uh, in that you've never, property. You've never lived there. So what, 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 what it sounds like mm. is, a, is, a, is, a, is fraud. It's a police matter. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. uh, and sometimes when, the, when, the, when, when someone comes to your door, yeah. that, that might be the first time that you're hearing about it, you could establish that maybe a, there, there is a case to be had that someone out there is using your, um, is using your name. So, but I think the fraud could be the other way. I don't, I don't think. Look, what, what do you mean from from the company from Rundles? Yeah. No, 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 no. See, R Rundles acts on behalf of council. So, so, so we are, we we only take instructions from councils. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We, we don't we don't investigate. We don't go and sort of like. When when you say you take what when when you say you take instruction, what what you mean? Yeah. You, you must get a warrant, no? But yeah. you don't. You don't have a warrant because I've asked. Uh, I've asked you for the warrant, your company, in writing yeah. a few times. Right. And you can't produce. But you're telling me, sending me message using my 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 private phone number. My number is X directory, by the way. Right. And using my number and sending me messages that somewhat somebody's been round to my house. Mm. I mean that is highly. Uh, that's I spoke to the crime commissioner, yeah, Anthony Stansfield. Mm. He said that's seven years straight. Yeah, but who? Some they. What, what I'm trying to say is, 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 Rundles wouldn't just come to your house. They I I don't care about that. Either you have a warrant or you don't. I've been asking you. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, for, us, for us to come to your door. No, 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 no. I'm not interested in that kind of logic. You have a warrant or you don't. What is it? Uh, me personally, right now, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell you personally. But why did the lady? Why did the lady put me through to you as the enforcement agent if you can't even tell? Well, she, she's obviously put me through to me because I must have been the person who done the visit. Right. But if, if without your proper details, yeah, I can't go. I can't because this was on the eleventh. Can I ask your Can I ask for your bailiff number, boss, please? Yeah. Yeah. One second. <coughs> I'm just going to put you down a minute. I'm yeah. Sure. 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 So he said it's fraud, but if fraud is like. Somebody's used my name with the address. It's not the fake uh, warrant. That's not fraud. <laughs> the fake <laughs> non-existent. Oh, oh. He's going to give me his bailiff number now. Nobody asks these things, you know. Get away with murder. <laughs> Court order scam. www.scambuster.tv. Here it is. Sign and join. Let's fight the scam. We have template letters you can use. Three thousand eight hundred and eighty-seven pounds. <laughs> On a warrant. <laughs> I've never lived in that pr property. The person who lives there is on benefit anyway so that wouldn't uh, couldn't have a debt and the court don't know nothing about it I've made inquiries with the court and nothing stands up it's uh, so now he says it's a fraud but it's a fraud by someone else not not them I mean they totally innocent he, he's a bailiff he visiting people you know he can't find his bailiff number can't find the warrant can't find nothing but they have a lot of belief they keep saying is someone believe you owe money of course everybody believes I owe money <laughs> I'm the chief money printer at the Fed and the Bank of England we just type things in the computer and and you guys got to work for it and pay fake <laughs> fake warrants hmm. this is how the system runs Aye. They want to regulate 
everybody <laughs> criminals regulating the innocent huh? this rundles bailiff while he looks for his uh, elusive uh, bailiff number they've been taken over by the cedar group which is a chinese related bailiff company they're very aggressive and nasty they never have the warrant they don't have the warrant they can't get a warrant because they don't have any proof of death and this is how the scam is running the pyramid of terror the police the local authority and the court staff they all back each other up the police will arrest you for obstructing a bailiff with but it will not arrest the bailiff for having a fake counterfeit warrant or, or, or not having a warrant at all and the council is claiming all these monies repossessions you know hi boss hi Yep, yep. Right, my ID number is 900. 900? Yeah. That's a nice number. What number is that? Your your court, county court number? No, that's just, that's my, that's his ID number on me, on me badge. Is, okay. Which court are you get your license from? Uh, Hartford County. Oh my God, that's the most corrupt cesspool uh, of a court in this planet. Yeah, that's where all the all the pedophile bailiffs get a fake registration from and <laughs> fake warrant. I'm telling you, there's a guy called Kenneth Warby. He's on the uh, he's on the, uh, the 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 sheriffs are coming program. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sued him in that court. That's where he's registered. Oh really? Yeah, and and he produced. He came from a company called the sheriff's office. Yeah. And he produced a Marston's ID. Oh. <laughs> and when we check up the sheriff's office, yeah, yeah. They, they are listed as a dormant company on, on Company's House. And, and they are they're running the, the, the BBC program, the sheriffs are coming. They're terrorizing yeah. people with fake warrants and fake bailiffs from a company that's not even trading. And you're registered in the same court, mate. You're famous. Uh, Mr. Fran yeah. Francis R. Lane. <laughs> there is a judge there called Judge Duncan. He's bent, uh, bent as my hubcap, mate. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to look out for him. You look out. You go. You go on your computer and type in uh, scambuster.tv. Yeah, we'll, I will do. I will because we're 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 on a mission to find a single legitimate authentic warrant. Yeah. And all the people who are going around with fake warrant right. to go to jail for seven years per item, yeah. per item, not 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 seven, you know, including the bosses, not just you. Yeah, no, that's 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 fine. That's fine. Because if you are telling me you came to my house based on a warrant, you handle my details, you're harassing my baby, you are doing all these things on a warrant, and you don't have the warrant, yeah. Mate, you owe me. You owe me money. Two things. Two yeah. Things. Yeah. I don't know whether I've, I don't know whether I've been to your house. I well, why why do I get a text message then? Uh, it's in black and white now. You can't get out of it. Yeah. I've already explained that to you, though. Didn't I? You can't explain it. You 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 get a text message. That's evidence. You came to my house. Yeah. Uh, no, you got a text message saying that I've come to your house, but I said to you that doesn't always happen. Have you had a, Have you had a letter from me? Well, so you're sending me lies? No, no, I'm ah. not sending you lies. Okay. Sometimes these things does, ha does happen in the office. Right. So I've, I've been asking you, your company and your boss, um, yeah. what's her name, Mrs. Rundle, yeah? Yeah. She, she's the biggest criminal going, yeah? And now she's, she's gone into bed with the Cedar Group, who are the Chinese uh, nasty illegal bailiffs, yeah? Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. You're going to get me the warrant now to end the conversation, yeah? To be honest, yeah. I'm not going to really, I'm not going to carry on talking. If you want me to, if you want me to help you... You, you can't carry on, Mr. Francis Arlene. You can't carry on talking because you don't have a warrant. You shouldn't be handling my name and my ex-directory number. Yeah? No, okay. Okay. No worries. No worries. Take me off your database, mate. Well, I'm going to file a EAC to 
complaint to the Hartford County Court and no all you scumbags registered there and operating no without warrants and, and abusing children, yeah? Do you know two Oh my two of the two of them are gone to jail. Two of them are gone to jail, so it's a proven fact, yeah? For for, for you know what with children. Christopher Maitland Christopher Maitland, yeah? Christopher Maitland, uh, and uh, another one. So, well, that's, that's, that's all, all you guys that's using that's fake that's warrants, you're, you're also stealing children with those warrants and trafficking people, and you cannot prove the warrant, yeah? Um, you go to scambuster.tv, mate. Don't listen to me. Okay, I will do. Thank you very much. You got nothing. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oi. Let's see if we can have a quick peep at the uh, at the one that got struck off. Hartford County Court, the most biggest. Here it is. Before Ju District Judge Duncan, County Court at Hartford, it is ordered that the certificate is revoked. I believe this is the first and only one ever in history, although I heard that, what's that guy called? Can't remember his name. Um, he's also got one struck off, but they, 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 they really should all be struck off on the bosses, the bosses, yeah? There is Christopher Paul Fantis, Fantis, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't get an, a Queen's Honours Medal for this, uh, I wonder who she's giving the honours to, uh, I mean, oh, Tony, uh, <laughs> Tony Blair, listen guys, I'm going to put a link down in there for you to, to, to request the warrant. Um, and uh, God bless. Let's hope to 2022 we can have some relief from uh, the fake court orders that they're using to terrorize us and rob us and, and abuse children. God bless. Thank you.